Hi, I'm Ozzy Graver and welcome back to the channel. Today we're in a little country town called Dalesford and we're at the Dalesford Cemetery. We're here to do a story, or a tragic story rather, of the lost children of Dalesford. It happened back in the Gold Rush era in Victoria in 1867. It was a Sunday morning, the 30th of June 1867, when a group of young children from Connell's Gully near Table Hill wandered in the direction of Wombat Creek past from here shallow gold diggings to look for wild goats. Three children, William Graham, aged six and a half, his brother Thomas, four years and three months, and Alfred Berman, five, responded to the call of adventure. They crossed Wombat Creek and headed towards Muskvale. When the boys failed to return home for lunch, their fathers began to search, concentrating their efforts near the junctions of the Wombat, Stony and Sailors Creeks. That evening, the boys were notified and the search went well into the night. During the afternoon, the boys had spoken to a Muskvale storekeeper, Mr Much, but failed to follow his instructions on how to reach Dalesford after a short distance, they unaccountably headed east to Specimen Hill. Towards dusk, the children then spoke to an older boy, John Quinn, near Specimen Hill Gold Mine. He told them that they were lost, but they ignored his attempts to turn them back and vanished into thick bush to their impending doom. At dawn on Monday the 1st of July, the search began in earnest, as news of the previous day's sighting circulated, the search area widened. Community anxiety grew, and the next day more than 100 horsemen assembled near the Specimen Hill gold mine. By Wednesday the 3rd of July, after a public meeting the previous night, called by the Mayor, Councillor Bleakley, sympathy for the distressed families was so heightened that almost 700 people turned out in cold, miserable weather to continue searching. The sorrowful discovery after eight successive public meetings and 25 days of searching, it appeared that the tragedy of the three lost children might never be solved. But on Friday 13th of September, a dog returned home to Wheeler's Hill, some 10 kilometres from Dalesford, carrying in its mouth a small boot with a child's foot in it. The following day, a number of Wheeler's Hill residents combed the area and found the body of the youngest boy in the hollow of a tree. The remains and clothing of the older boys were nearby. There was a large funeral and the three children were buried together in the Dalesford Cemetery. An impressive monument was erected there by public subscription. In 1889, Mr Graham, the father of two of the lost boys, established a scholarship to be presented each year to the best boys and girl pupils at Dalesford State School. In this way, the memory of the lost children has been kept alive in the Dalesford district. The information I've just read to you is courtesy of the State of Victoria's Department of Sustainability and Environment. And there you have it, it's a very tragic story three children who lost their lives by simply just heading out on an adventure. Where the boys were found there is a monument and a message tree about 10 kilometres from where we are now. I'll leave this video today with some photos of those mo monuments. So this is Ozzy Graver. As usual please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and bye for now.